Hey everyone, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D print creator. And in this video, I'm going to take you on a journey into the face mode. The mode that you have in your slicer, where your printer makes a continuously circle. Let's take a look in a printer that is doing this. So here I've got my Ender 2 printer and it's printing in face mode. So in this mode, the printer is making a continuously circle after it printed the base of the model. So it first prints the layered so that it's watertight, that there is a bottom. And after that, the z-axis is driving around continuously. So it's continuously moving up, but in a very slow pace. And uh, as you can see, the printer is continuously printing in a circle. It's not stopping to, uh, yeah, to, to lift the z-axis and then to start again. So it's a continuously motion. Now the benefit of this is that you won't have drips on the start and the end points of your motion because there is only one motion. So uh, this is a real quick way of making a very large print because the print is continuously. Uh, there is no stopping point, there is no uh, starting point and well this makes printing very fast for large objects. A thing that you make in face mode is normally a thing that, uh, well, that is not hollow. So I'm going to take you along on my monitor where I have in my slicer at this moment a model, uh, which is a face, of course, uh, which, yeah, which explains what I mean with not hollow. So I take you along in my desktop here. And as you can see here in my slicer, this model is just massive. It, it's completely filled. And uh, this means that it's not a face where you can put flowers in or something like that. Now let's see what you can do in your slicer to make it hollow. So we go to the settings uh, for the slicer. And here under layer, and this is in Simplify 3D, but every slicer nowadays has this function. Here in Simplify 3D, I have the function to turn on the face mode. So when I turn this function on, and uh, well, you have to set your other settings, of course, also. Uh, so in this case, I can use a skirt or a brim. Well, not really necessary, but you can do so. Uh, infill, well, it doesn't matter what you say here for your infill, because there is no infill, but I'm going to show you later. Support, well, there is no support as well. And for the temperature, well, you have to set your temperatures for the type of material that you are using. Uh, for the cooling, in this case, I have it at 100%. And the reason I do this is because uh, I want to have a very fast cooling process. Uh, but again, this depends on the material you are using. And uh, for the speeds, well, I'll show you for fun. I have set this at 75% of, uh, 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 sorry, 75 millimeters a second. Uh, and this looks as if it is very fast, but as you can see here, it isn't printing at 75 millimeters a second. And I'm going to show you the reason later on. Now, to go back to the desktop, um, when I click OK, you don't see anything happening here. But when you go to prepare for the print, now it's really slicing the code. And now, as you can see, it's hollow. Because what happened here is that I told uh, the, the, the slicer that I want to print this in the face mode. And this means that I only want to print the outline. Nothing else than the outline. Uh, the only thing I added as an extra was the bottom line here. And I'm going to show you that again because I haven't shown it earlier. Uh, when you are here at your layers, then you can say that you want to have uh, for the bottom solid layers, three bottom solid layers. You can also say you want to have top solid layers. Now you can make something hollow and then uh, it's closing the, the, the face on the top side. So here I have to say I don't want to have any top layers. I want to have three bottom solid layers. 
and here well I can say anything I like was because when I go to the face mode then this will be one so uh, I can ma make it 10 if I want to but it will be one because there is only one outline so again when you're in that uh, prepared G code then you can see that it's completely hollow and that it's going to build up like this so it's in a continuous motion going up and up and up and up all the way to the top all the way to where the print is done and there won't be any top on it because we told it that the top has zero uh, layers now this can be printed on almost any printer I, I for sure don't know any printer that can't print it but it's only for FDM printing now this is basically all you have to do for face mode printing so it, it's not very difficult it's something that you can do very easy and it's a very quick way of printing uh, just because well there is only one layer of thickness and there is a continuously going on motion uh, to, to the whole print so this is it for the face mode I hope you like this video if so please give it a like also uh, comment in the comment section if you like to ask questions I always read the comments and I also answer all my questions and uh, well if you want to support the channel you can do so by clicking on one of the advertisements or the affiliate links uh, in the links down below or you can do a donation for a cup of coffee and there is also a link for that in the links down below if you're not subscribed to my channel then please subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell button as well otherwise you won't be notified every time I make a new video so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye bye